I kind of look, um, I probably should correct my drawing. A lot of times I'll just correct the drawing with the color. So let me double check. I meant to do that before y'all got here and just see how she measures out from hairline to eye and tear duct to there is the halfway mark. So that's probably a part of my problem is I don't have her head, I don't have her head big enough. And that's usually the, when we have a child looking too old, it's because we don't have the head big enough. Because this is her part to her hair, which is here to her eyebrow, eyebrow to the opening of her mouth. There's the part. Yeah, so that's about right. That's her part. Um, and then she's a little bit higher there. So I think I'm okay. So maybe I can make it work with the color. So I'm gonna say she's kind of yellowish with some peachiness in her cheeks. I don't really see pink, pink in this, but I'll put pink in it because I like pink. <laughs> but it, she will be more of a yellowish color. So I'm gonna pull a few colors out. And I, again, I'll, I have a very limited palette here. Um, I may start with the darks. And this is a gray, uh, background so everything's gonna read kind of dark against or everything will read fairly light because it's medium just called flesh no there's no real colors to them. yeah things. there's a thousand they don't come up make an easy one just no <laughs> they don't and listen I just try to look I just try to look and see see that one's about the same color as that. That's going to be my dark, probably, and that's going to be my light. And then I've got a really, really dark um, in the pastel set. We spend the most time looking for color, but the really, really darkest dark is right here on her skin tone. So I'll go ahead and register that. I also will put that inside her mouth. Uh, where else could I put it? Do y'all see anything else? Maybe over here. And it's reddish. I don't really want that. I want a raw umber color for her hair. Oh, under her little nostrils. A tiny bit there. I can go over it. Yeah. Yes, right up here. Good, Dorothy. This side of the chin, but it's just very. Oh yeah, and a little bit under her chin, so I could put a little bit of that there. Okay, so. Um, I get a paper towel. Again, working with pastels, I try to always lay my pastels on a paper towel because they make a mess. They get everywhere. And that way, I can already tell which ones I've used. If you're trying to be neat and keep them in your box, then just um, uh, rock them in the cradle of the box so that you'll know which ones you've already used and which ones have been helpful. Uh, she's probably... I'm going to say some yellow tones in her hair. Just because I have that one, I'll go ahead and pop that on there. And it's kind of like coloring book, um, kindergarten, these first marks that I put on here. That's really yellow, isn't it? I know from uh, doing lots of portraits that usually the forehead is fairly warm because that's where the light hits it first. The midsection is more rosy and peachy colored. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop a little bit of that on here. Isn't that fun to just put on? <laughs> the pastel colors are so gorgeous that they're just fun to go ahead and just put a little bit of that on. And if it looks kind of crazy burn victim stage at this point, that's okay, it's supposed to. Um, that will help it hold up when you start blending. I'm going over it with a little bit of a, more of a neutralizing fleshy color back over the top of it. Where else would I see? A little bit maybe on this side of the cheek. Not quite as, but I'll, I'll, I'll just, there's two values with a pastel. There's really, really light, and then if you push a little bit darker. This is the lit side of her face, so it's not going to be quite that bright. I also know that whenever there's a warm like that in the cheek, there's a little piece of that that runs down the bridge of the nose. You don't really see it too much here, and then it'll, it'll wrap around the bottom of the nose sometimes. So I'll go ahead and put that in. 
Her little lips, would you say those are pink, orange? Hard to tell, isn't it? I'm gonna put a little bit of this color on just cause I got it in my hands. And I'll tone it way, way down, but I'll start out with it being kind of bright. Um, this is a little bit more medium color. And just like with the grisaille, Katie, the first goal is to just get all your values on there if you can. Light, mediums, and darks. And start carving some of this out. I'm already getting her a little too peachy. In the picture, she's very uh, gold and ochre and warm. It almost made me feel like that this was a um, antique sepia type picture. That's what I liked about that. But I've already gotten so bright with it here that I've already lost some of that. I'm just going to get some of the flesh in here. I'm not going to worry about the bangs right now. I'm going to put her head in first because the head came before the bangs. <laughs> Always ask yourself those kind of common sense things like the sky came before the mountains, you know, or the trunk of the tree came before the leaves of the tree. I could go ahead and put some of that down here. Just massing stuff in fast, as fast as you can. Because all this is gonna have to be blended. The dark wraps around under her chin. Not dark, but medium, kind of a medium color. That's too red. I don't really see much red on her. There's another fleshy color I might use. That one's not bad. And also with pastel, you you can blend the colors. So you put the dark first, and then you can put something a little bit warmer back over the top of it. Where else could I put that? Under her chin? I mean her lip. Top of her chin there. A little bit of dark right here next to her mouth. Where else? Y'all see anywhere else? She's bright. A little bit of her ear. Down the nose. Yes, yes, there sure is. All right. A little bit up here. She's more shadowed right here as she goes into her hair. Can you tell if what color her eye whites are from this picture? Do they seem um, Over here, they're sure not white. No, there's nothing white about them. Are they cool bluish or are they uh, uh, more fleshy colored? More fleshy on this one. Yeah, they kind of are. So I would put a little bit, that's too bright, to a little bit of a fleshy color in there. Those are the, these are just questions I ask myself. Um, I'll put a little bit of cool color in there because usually they have some flesh and some cool combination. So I'll go ahead and put that. And I believe she has green eyes. I don't know, but I'm gonna say, and I don't have a lick of green in here. So of course I won't be able to do that. I'm gonna make them another color we can. There's a little bit of a green color. Just to go ahead and get everything colored. So I can kind of look at it all at the same pace. Is there, you know, I can look at the flesh and I can look at some of the hair colors. Uh, here's a dark brown. I'm gonna go ahead and just mass in a little bit of her hair. Look how much of that's fallen off. Because this is a really soft one. Yeah, unison. Um, up here. See how easy that charcoal covers? It's just not a problem at all. We used to start out drawing with the hard pastels, and that's fine too. But I really like the looseness of the charcoal and how easy it falls off. A little bit down here. And then I would, I'm gonna probably go ahead and put a tiny bit of a feeling of her shirt down here just so I can kind of gauge all the colors at once. I'm not gonna finish it or anything. I'm just gonna put a little piece of it. All right, she's got a shadow under her nose that I didn't put in. Y'all see that? It always kind of feels like it might be 
kind of like a booger or something if you make it too dark, but it's under there. And this little thing of her mouth. What else? There's a little um, shadow around her, this side of her nostril. The other side doesn't have that. What else? This is really dark right here. But it's got it on her, and this one on her cheek right yes, here. Mm -hmm. there, there is. It's almost like a smile line. Yeah. So we'll see if we can make it. I'll see if I can make it with one of these. Maybe a darker, fleshy tone. You don't want it to be that real, real harsh color. Let's see if this will work. See, that's too much. Too much. Now, with a pet with pastel, I think probably for me one of the most frustrating parts of doing pastel is first of all finding your colors and then getting the whole thing covered and it looking like a kindergarten mess to start with. Because everybody wants to throw the towel in and say, I don't really like this. This is yucky and messy. That's what I do. Yeah, and that's normal. I mean that's a normal feeling because look how I mean I, I'm hoping you're seeing that with mine. But look how messy it looks to start. I do have a green in here, so it's kind of a creepy color I put in her eyes. Just a little bit of eye color on there for now. All right, so now I'm gonna look for something to kind of blend some of this together, because I'm just gonna do this quick, quick rendering for y'all. And what could I blend it with? Maybe a, sometimes a pencil works, a fleshy colored pencil. Um, here's one that's just a dark, fleshy colored pencil, so I can start over here. If you hate that sound, you may have trouble with this. Um, here's a lighter one for the light side, so I could come in here and, and you see the, the way I painted that, um, pastel medium on that I've got lots of lines in here so I'm probably going to have to fight with that a little bit oh that one's in shadow that's too light I misjudged that one I'll have to fix that um, over here's light um, you might wonder, am I thinking about the planes of the face at this point? Yes, I can start thinking about them. At first, I'm just kind of applying color. And then I start um, thinking about which way the plane goes on the face. That's really light right there. Right here above her lip. is really, really light. There and her nose are probably the two lightest places, wouldn't you say? On her little face. Mm -hmm. So now I can start, I can blend these together. Just real quick. A little bit of a glowiness under these lips. It gets light right here on her chin. And I'm not, I'd like to have one that's a little bit brighter. Here's an orangey one. This one might be pretty down here. I don't want to be too, too, too light over here. But there's a little bit of a glow under her chin. And it glows a little bit around the edge of her cheek right there. Can you see that? And it's a little bit glowy right here on the edge or the color. Now, will I leave her cheeks this bright? No, probably not. But I want to. <laughs> Again, when you put these things up on the wall, remember they it changes somewhat. That's a little too orange. But all this bright color can certainly be toned down. So it's kind of better if you start bright. It's not kind of better, it is bright. It is better. It is bright and it is better. Now, if it's too orangey and I want to neutralize it a little bit, this is a gray-red color. See how that tones it down a little bit? It's 
getting rid of some of that orange. So you're always thinking, when you're thinking about flesh, you're thinking about shades of red and yellow is what makes all flesh. So you can go back and forth with reds and yellows to get the right color that you need. There's a little bit of a shadow under her eye, so look, that works perfect. It's kind of part of her eye socket that's really warm. Is she crazy looking from over there? A little bit. It's taking some shade, a little bit of shade. Here's a more of a fleshy color that I can smooth and start smoothing this out. I haven't done anything around her eyes much, so there's a lot of work that needs to be done around her eyes. But This is shadowy on this side, so I don't want to get in real light with any kind of color that's too light over here. And I misjudged this little nostril here, so I'm going to darken it. It's in shadow. This whole side of the nose is in shadow. Bye. You're gone, Heather. Bye. Have a good week, sweetie. Yeah. Did you sign it? Yes. Yay! Yeah. Bravo! Ring the bell. <laughs> All right, now I can go over this. I'm almost done. Now I can go over this with this prettier color that's kind of peachy and glowy and uh, lighten it just a little bit. And she's kind of got that skin tone like I gave Sydney there, a little too orange. So I can tone that down. I know, just go to town with it. That's right. Just go to town. And that's what I hope to help y'all with because again, we we do this. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of just getting in here and going, okay, I'm gonna hurry up. And I know I tell the story over and over and over about mama doing the huddle with us when we were little, but it's it's helped me more than anything to just go, okay, make a deal with yourself. I have to hurry up and cover this up. I can't be playing around with it. Whatever I have to do, now see that's a really dark color, but that's neutralizing it a little bit and making it not dark, but it's it's kind of colorless, but it's settling it down a little bit so it's not so bright. I might put a tiny bit of that over here. But if I'm not careful, I'll make it too, too bland. But we need a little bit of that, don't you think? To settle some of this crazy color down. A little bit through the glabella here. Remember, that's a little darker there. And I will have to get in here and do um, her eyes real quick because that's going to drive us nuts, right? Where's my blending pencil here? And that, that right eye, it looks like it's down a little bit. This one? Maybe it's just me. Yeah, yeah it needs to be... It's actually on an angle. It should be that it should be on an angle that way. You're right, Trish. Good eye. So let me give her a little bit of eyebrows here. Not too dark. We put those eyebrows in sometimes and they're way too dark. So how to correct the eye. Let me make sure again. And I've got them this way, and it should be that way. You're right. So do we lower this eye or raise that eye? What would y'all prescribe? Know. What do we do? <laughs> what do we do? Um, well, I like the amount of space right here because that makes her look younger. So I think I will lower this lower eye. Yeah. And this one needs to come down just a tad. And that's not that hard to do. So I'm going to slice a little bit off the top here. Not with too much too light, though, because... It, um, her little eye ridge is in shadow under here. There we go. Look. Knock that down. And then come back in here with And remember the thing I said in last week was that her round eyes are a big part of what's so distinctive about her. I know they're crazy looking now. I'll fix them. I promise. What did I say? Yeah, that way. 
So that still needs to come down just a smidge. things secured on an easel is also quite helpful instead of it moving all over the place on you. Is she crazy looking from over there? A little bit? I know. She looks like she has cataracts. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are easy on me, I'm telling you. <laughs> Funny girls. They are. We have to laugh. I know. You better laugh. If you don't, you'll cry, right? Yes. All right, so I'm bringing it. You saw how I brought it down from there to there. All right. Yes, yeah, she really has almond-shaped eyes. So because I've already got so much color on here, I'm going to use a little bit of white to try to bring in. And I'll adjust that, but at least I can see what's going on now. Let's see. Really, there's a real strong. They're still crooked, aren't yes. they? Yes. It's still too high. It's still too high. Come on. That goes back to the drawing girls. Do you remember what I told you? Draw, draw, draw until it's right, and don't let yourself get into the color too soon. And it's just, it's just challenging. We'll bring it down with some green. What I did do when y'all weren't here was I. Um, she gone? Okay. Is that I put a little bit more of that pastel medium just on her face, mm -hmm. so that that way, if I lost the tooth. I'd have a little bit more tooth. And then I'm going to bring it down. And then once you move that eyebrow down, I think that might help. Yeah. That's a little bit. That's yeah, a little bit. across now. Oh, look. A little it's bit. This is straight. So, right. But nobody's the one on the right's the one that goes up. The one on the left comes down. Mm-hmm. I can bump that up just a tad. Her eye socket goes back right near her eyebrow. This right here. And then it'll help too if I get this. Especially that left one. See how close it is to the eyebrow? Uh huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe I've gotten them too, too wide. So here to here, there to there. Okay. So maybe I've gotten them. No, they're about the right width. It's just getting this dark in here too, right? All right. I know y'all are y'all are ready to go probably. Okay. But that just that's just mm -hmm. looks much better. That's yeah. part of the problem of that you have to solve and it's just you just work it out, work it out, work it out. But it was nice to see me mess me, it up. Well, <laughs> how, you would, how you would correct Fix it. it. Yes. And we just sit here for Well, no, I wanted that. <laughs> she made it like that on purpose. So. Well, and listen, you could show us that straight. I did want to show you that you don't have to take the whole eye off. Right. And with pastel, you really don't want to do that. You just want to slowly bump it down, slowly bump it down. So now it's maybe too much, but 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 yeah, I'll be I'll fix it. So anyway, that's what we're. I'll work on it some more next week. Show you kind of uh, the finishing part of it. Thank y'all for being so, giving me good input. And there's probably some greens. I'll also get all the colors out that I need. There's probably some greens in there too, in her skin tone. If it's real um, olive color, like mine, which it feels more olive, there's a lot of green in there. If it's real orangey, a lot of times there's a lot of blue in there. So I would probably put some greens down in here, a little bit of green. Um, and let me go ahead and just give her some pupils right now because that's so creepy looking. Move that one down a little bit. Where that green I had just had in my hand go. Here it is. There. 
that fixed that just a tiny bit. So the pupil, the uh, pupil needs to be right in the center. Oh yeah, the left eyebrow is way too high, isn't it? Thanks, Trish. It almost sits right on top of the eye. Yeah. Really does. Bye, Bye sweetie pie. Do Bye. you does it? Is it okay? You think to send to her? Do you get feathers. it to a point? Feathers. <laughs> okay, we can do feathers. feathers. Bye. Honey. Yeah, you're right. It's way down here. Almost like there's something. Yeah. And these are things that, you know, like when I was drawing the other day, um, I decided I don't really like doing that. It's a lot of pressure to draw out on the sidewalk, and you have like 10 minutes to try to do a portrait. That's a whole other ball game. I did two of them, and it was challenging. And I thought, do I want to do this, really? <laughs> no, I don't really want to do this. But it's really good practice. All right, so anyway, she's coming along. She's getting a little bit better than she was. Mm -hmm. uh, now something's really off. Now it's like too much. So I'll, I'll look at it again and, and come back and, and fix it. But you see how I get started and how messy yeah. it looks to start with? Mm -hmm. um, just block all those colors in. Be real free with your colors. If you were doing that wisteria, mm -hmm. be really bright with that wisteria. Don't, don't, yeah, don't make it muddy because that's the worst thing with pastel is if you get... If you get smeared, dirty, muddy color. If you use too much brown, it makes it dirty. If you use too much black, it makes it look dirty. So it, you just want to be as bright and vibrant as you can to start with. And it makes you feel good just actually putting all that beautiful color on there. Yeah. Reading her, reading from across the room. Now, um, it makes me feel better sometimes, too, to put a little bit of a highlight on her. I have so many. In her eyes, just to give her a little bit of life. That that'll have to be. I'll have to redo her eyes, but that that also gives gives it a little bit of life. Yeah, they have to be even. They can't be uneven. Yeah. Um, and it's not her. It is a little girl, but it's not her. So anyway, thank you, girls, for watching. I gotta pop one more thing on it before I get up. I can't make myself sorry. That's okay. Keeps me busy. Yes. Yes, I really like the board. Um, I don't like um, the. In fact, all the 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 ones I took to the show, like that one. If you look close at that one, it's really warped and waffly. Oh, all right. Because of the moisture. But just moisture on the paper. Paper is just. It just absorbs. It's fragile. It's fragile. So, I mean, it's all right. It was when you're drawing, that's what you draw on. But, I mean, I think you can draw on, pa on boards too. Um, you can find some nice boards that are smooth and you can draw on the boards too. So I'm going to try to play with the mat board a little bit more. Although you do have these bumps, so look at these lines. So you have that to contend with. Uh, some of the pastel papers, you have that too. You have, you've got to have it too. you just keep on going with that? See, I would have a tendency to want to take my finger in there and stuff. Well, people do mm -hmm. um, use their I fingers. Just, yeah, do I don't. Um, I don't use my finger. I like to. I don't want to get the oil from my fingers in there. Um, I, I like to just keep it. Use the pencils to blend with. So I would keep going over this and blend with these pencils until it gets really nice and glowy and smooth. So that's what all you. That's use what I use is the pencils. Yeah, I love the pencils. Yes. Did you use the all? Soft ones on her face. No, a mixture. Mostly, I used hard ones. I did. The only soft one I picked up was that brown, and you could uh -huh. see it fall down uh -huh. because it was so soft. Uh -huh. But these, these are the new pastels, the harder ones. Um, yeah, and so then the pencils are very hard, and so that's what I like about the pencils. Nobody ever really has demonstrated showing me the pencils. Mm -hmm. I just kind of figured out that I liked using those to blend with mm -hmm. because they don't really deposit much color. They just move it around mm -hmm. and blend it. And if I use the stumps, well, every, the stumps, if I had you know, say I use the stump here mm -hmm. and I want to go down here, I'm going to carry that bright red. Oh, yeah. So I'd have to get a bunch of stumps you and then, sure so why not use the pencils? And the pencils actually do put a little color on there, whereas the stumps just kind of mash it in. Um, 
So you can see these. this will start glowing it up and making it look prettier. This will mash it into the tooth, too. And you do it different directions. I do. I mean, you really want to start thinking about the planes of the head, you know, and, and moving it around according to the plane of the head. She's really dark. I mean, I got to get back. I'm sitting too close to this, too. When I do a demonstration, I don't get up and look at it from a distance, and that's really important. Um, but all these things will... I released y'all from your captivity, and here I am going again. <laughs> Sorry. Are we complaining? No. No, you're not. But you don't don't feel bad if you need to get up and go, because I'm just gonna keep going a minute. What were you gonna say, Katya? You still spray me under a glass, or yes. Spray? No, I don't ever spray, spray it. Okay. Mm -mm. Never, 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 because it, it just just you changes the color. Directly on it. No, um, if I were to frame just this, they have little spacers that okay. have a adhesive on one side. Okay. They're just a little clear square, and you peel the adhesive off and you stick it um, all the way across. And then the glass lays on top of that spacer oh. or a mat. So you put them all mine are matted. Next to next, each other all the way around. All the way around. Yes. Yeah. Um, so the chalk doesn't fall? It will fall. Like if it's really, I'll do this a lot, see how it's falling. Um, I'll get as much of it off before I frame. That portrait Daniel Green did of me a few years back because I had towed it around a little bit. The pastel mm -hmm. fell off and was on the mat in front of the mat. Oh. So I just took it all apart and took an eraser and cleaned it off. Mm -hmm. Dumped out, cleaned the glass again, put it back together. But you didn't add any pastels? No. No, 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 no I didn't touch any of his stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I've not really done a lot of other things in pastel like, um, like flowers. Phyllis was asking about flowers this morning. Mm -hmm. And it, because everything's so soft, you have to work pretty, um, you have to work hard to get dark, anything dark in it. Mm. I mean, sharp in it. Everything's soft, soft, mm. soft, soft. So you'd have to really have some sharp, crisp um, lines. And she's got a ridge of light underneath there that I have oh, to get yeah. in. I don't have my glasses on. But sometimes not, you know, when I was working at the studio the other day with this lady, I was way far away from her. And so sometimes that's good for us to work with blurred pictures or to be at a distance because you're not in there trying to do all the eyelashes. But you can see how you would see it if it were on the wall. And you can you can grab the important parts and make sure that the important parts are right. Right. And then go back. Uh, like I haven't done anything to this nostril over here. And I kind of like the blue coming through. Too, because it it gives me a few areas of coolness mm -hmm. on here that um, are just kind of automatic because of the blue color back behind it. Mm -hmm. This is too light. I misjudged that. I put that little light on, but it's it's in shadow down under her chin, so you don't want to get it too too light. And I would I have some gorgeous colors in my case over there for lip colors, mm -hmm. so I probably would go back at the end. She doesn't have that, but I would give it to her. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just because, why wouldn't we? This is art. Mm -hmm. And it's like the color, I mean, we have all this gorgeous color. Why wouldn't we use some of it? You know, isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. And then it, we could go back. We can go back like, this is a real, this is a soft sennelier. So you can see that beautiful um, Glow. glowy color sure. and then go back with Phyllis I know you need to go and I just I've got you trapped in back here um, then you can work it in like this yeah and it's without the pencils I need the pencils I use them all the time um, it's just almost like the way I'm teaching you guys with the oils to put them on thick and then take a little soft mop and wiggle them, you know, soften them in. Mm -hmm. Because that way you can lay color wet into wet into wet. Lay it in kind of thick and then move it around. And it's the same with these thick pastels, these uh, soft pastels. You can put those pretty colors in. Mm -hmm. So I would just keep blending and, and get things, you know, use, this is a little too orange, so I'd find another color and just keep blending and smooth her little skin tones out. Um, uh, I don't know if I want to make her any more orange. She's probably orange enough. 
but you know, the lower up here, and I don't have any. Just so happen to have a pencil sharpener. <laughs> Um, this one is kind of a good, like, a, there's a, in this mm -hmm. pastel set, there's a 204 in the new pastel set, and that's the one I kind of use a lot of times to just blend everything. Just light on is her nose. The number of no, the pencil's a 204 is it. it's the, the pastel. The it's no, the number of the new pastel. Like pencil, these are pastel pencils. Pastel. They're made out of pastel. pastel. Yeah. Oh. This is a Carbothello set, and then there's a Derwent makes a pastel pencil, and they're like a dollar fifty. Okay, a pencil. there's one thing I need you to fix. Okay, it's driving you nuts. Yes, it's the light and that eye. Look it's at crooked. It. It, well, it looks like the. This one, the one, the, this one's looking at you, and that, and that one one's like all cattywampus. To the left. <laughs> There's a lot more work that needs to happen on this I know, eye. But that bothered me. Okay, <laughs> we can't all have Dorothy being bothered. That just bothered me. It's like it is not. Like I couldn't quit looking at it, and uh, I couldn't watch what else she was doing for looking at it. I just took it out. How about that? <laughs> well, I'm thinking she has green eyes. So you think she has green or brown? Um, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure her mama, I know her mama, I think her mama had green eyes. In her, in her hair, so. Uh huh. So, Dorothy, let me put my glasses on. Okay. <laughs> get it right. Because yes, these are right. not, this is not the type of attention I would have given. You know how me I am with eyes. I would have really spent some time on these eyes. Well, I know it. And I know you would have fixed it. That's not the problem. <laughs> <laughs> but for y'all, I need to get it in there. All right, get the pupil. You can't put that eye white till you get the pupil in there. Okay. And you got to be okay with this scritch scratching too because there's a lot of scritch scratching That's going fine. on. It's anything to fix it. <laughs> oh, you are funny, girl. Uh, no, let me get a little Look, bit of this. I, I have to. I can't be too too serious all the time. No, I, I we wouldn't know what her. to do if you were, girl. We got to keep some. Um, so here's the thing with this. This is another good illustration. You got to find a corner, and you never know if you're going to hit it because you got to press really hard. So I didn't hit it exactly right. But I, I didn't. I brought it off to the side, didn't I? Again, knock it off. Oh, you can just correct everything. Yeah, you right? just take it off. Yes. Is that a little bit better? Does that not look better to y'all? Does that meet approval? See, it's see. Can't see that. I'm moving that down a little. I, might, I moved that too much, it's didn't so I? Pretty. So I've got them. I might have moved them too much. You know what I'll do? I'll take a picture of it now and go back and check well, it. Well, like you're going to you work on her next week. You, you yes. haven't gotten up and, and stood back here yeah. and looked at No, it. I have so, not. So I need is, to. That is one She feels thing. really but crooked. I like how her eye is tucked into her eyebrow. I mean, into her eye socket. So now, yeah, I'll, it is. a See, little bit more. And it's it looks like that on the... On the left yeah, side. it doesn't right. look yes. like her right now. So I'll, I'll, I'll fix that because there are some. Mm -hmm. She's got a real pointed yeah, chin. Kind of mm -hmm. I think it'll be safe. And soften her little rosebud yeah. mouth because her little, yeah. mouth, yeah. Mouth, yeah. Her little yeah. mouth is sweet. So I'll show you my finishing. I'll make sure my drawing's right next week, and I'll make sure I have all the colors out, and I'll show y'all my finishing next week. For more inspirational and educational art videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at Christine Pilkington Studio or visit my website at PortraitCreations.com.